Hey guys, it's Neil from the School Busters, and what I'm going to do today is show you how the locations for all the legendary fish. So, what you need to do is, is come to this uh, strange admission. Uh, you can only access this after chapter 3. So, once you come here, obviously initiate the mission. Then, once you've done that, come over to the swamps and get your special uh, laws so that you can get the legendary fish. Without them, you can't get them. You need to buy these. So, like I say, make the purchase. $60. Because you'll need them. You will not get the fish if you do not buy them. So, let's start. First one is Chain Pickerel. And I'll show you the location. Where I got mine. And what I want to do is I want to show you how I got it and where. So, as you've seen on the map there, that's where I'm stood. And that's the direction I went in. You, to be honest, they bite pretty quick. It's well, the, the one thing that you've got to do is watch out for your line snapping and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, once you've caught him, what you need to do is go to the post office and mail it. Send it off. You need to do that with every fish that you, you pick up. So that's one down. Like again, like I say, you've got to put the, the special lure on. So the next one here is smallmouth bass. And this one's near strawberry. Again, I'd use my location and the way I'm, I threw my line. This one took a... A little while because it's a big really big fish so I've sped this up so that you're not wasting a load of your time watching it but you can see the location and where I was stood to get the fish so the one tip that I would use is keep pulling down on the left analog stick and it drags the fish in so this is this is a big bugger this one but we've got it in the end Size of that badger. So that's two down. Again, post it off. Legendary perch. I, I got the little. There's a little boat just to the back right of me here, and what I've done is I came out to the. There's a rock in the middle of the lake, so I got onto this rock, and then it, I got the fish anywhere else it won't catch it so like I say just go where I went and you should get it as well make sure you get the put the the right lure so you get the you know the fish if you put the wrong lure on it won't it won't get the fish again like I say best tip is you just keep pulling down on the rod up and down up and down what it does it dra drags the fish in there quick but once it starts fighting you got to don't don't reel it in. Stop reeling. So that's the perch done. Again, mail it off. So the next one is the legendary musket. And again, I would come in the same spot as where I did. So it's just a little rock there to the left of that boat. Again, I've sped it up. So you can see my rod keeps going, keeps pulling up. So like you need to pull your left analog stick down, and it drags the fish in. So as soon as it starts resisting or fighting, whatever you want to call it, just stop reeling it in, wait for it to finish do what it's doing, and then start again. And you should get it. This is a big one as well, I think. It was a bit of a fight. The muskie's down. Again, mail it off. So the next one up, long nose gar. So it's back to the swamps really. Where you picked up the lures. This one was a bit of a pain in the ass, this one to be honest. Because there's so many fish in this swamp or whatever you want to call it. Um it took me about three goals I think. 
what got there in the end. Again, this was a bit of a a fight. Here we go. Again, use my my location from the map. I've zoomed right in to where I stand, so you can see. That's the guard down. That's a big one. Next up, Lake Sturgeon. So what I done is quite simpler. I ran along the railway tracks, and it picked it up. It let me do it, so there's no other way. So again, use my location. It seemed to work. I got him, no problem. It's just like I say, I've sped the the thing up, so. You, it was a bit of a faff really because you have a fight with them because they're that some of them are that big it, it does take a little while whatever you do don't snap your line so be patient with it and you 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 will get them oh, oh, you are one fine fish my friend another big one So I'll get mail it off. So the next up, steelhead trout. So you're going right north. Top of the map. Top right of the map. So I went into the fountains. I found this is where I, I, I got the fish pretty easy. So I'll again use my location. Sped this up again. And I see as soon as you put your rod in, you, you know, you float into the water, it bites pretty quick. So like I say, use my locations if you want. I seem to I seem to get them dead quick. It's another big one. Yes. <laughs> Sockeye salmon. So again, don't forget to mail them off. As soon as you get one, mail it off. Because if you forget about it or you lose it or anything like that, it means you, your balls don't basically mail it off as soon as you get them. So again, use this location because this one was a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, took me a while to find this location. It's obvious where to go, but I mean, where to stand. It'll, you'll understand when you come doing it yourself. So yeah, like I say, make sure if every time you catch a fish, go to the post office and mail it off so that you're not going to lose it or anything like that. That's what I did. Every one, I went and mailed it straight as I picked it up. So again, this was a bit of a fight. It was a big one, this one. That's the salmon down. That was a big one, that one. 54 pound legendary bluegill that was right near Rhodes near where you start the mission really this is a small one this one again use my positioning try not to snap your lines stuff like that what I'll do is I'll put the in the comments section the times per fish so, if you're just looking for a, a certain fish, or, to, or where to go, how to do it, then I'll put it in the comment section. You're magnificent. So that's the bluegill down. Again, post it off at the post office. Next up, the bullhead catfish. So you've got to go, you've got to take a little canoe boat across to the island. You've got to be careful where you do that because you, you can commit suicide if you pick the wrong spot. Um, so just be careful with that. Again, use this location because it took me a couple of goals, this one. And then I found this this spot and it, bite, it got the fish pretty straight away, to be honest. It's only a small little thing. That's the catfish down. Again, post it. So at this point, you've got three fish left to go. 
and you've got to complete the story basically you, there's no way you're getting them so just be careful it does contain spoilers I've put that warning in there so the next one up is largemouth bass again I've sped this up because it was quite a drag you can see there how as soon as you put it in you just reel a little bit and it, they, they do bite pretty quick to be honest but like I say there is a fight there's a fight with them if you keep watching my rod there it keeps going up and down up and down so the more you pull left that left analog stick down it drags it in a lot quicker That's a big one. Large mouth bass. Again, post him off. So next up, red fin pickerel. This one was dead easy. As soon as you pour it in, it bit. Can't go wrong with the position. Try not to snap your line, stuff like that really, like I say, quite simple. And then we've caught that bad boy. It's only a small one. Compared to what we've been getting. So one more to go so the rock bass you can do these in any order but these last three you can't until you complete the story so be careful when you come here there is a wolf or wolves <coughs> and bears at this location and they will go for you as you know so just be careful with that one so again like I say once you've caught the fish all fish post it off and when you do catch the last one which is another small one again like I say post office that's the rock bass down go post office mail it off so when you've got all of them You'll see the message telling you to go and see Jeremy Gill in 24 hours. So that's all the fish down. So all you've got to do is go and camp. Oh, what I did is I went to a saloon and uh, got a few beers, wasted 24 hours, and then went back. As you see, we've got all the fish. Checklist is done. So you're going back to Jeremy. And see what's in store. Ah, this Basically, it takes you to a, a new place. Okay. What's the plan? Oh, no. Catfish are easy. Just a couple of rashes of bacon, and that boy will be fine. Listen, I won't spoil anything for you, guys. But make sure you pick up what's ever you what's left. Okay, There's two things. Make sure you pick them both up at the end of the yes, at the clip. You'll see here in the video. So I'll leave you with it guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.